Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we've got number 85, Obi-Wan Kenobi as a Padawan from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Um, excellent figure. Uh, this is, I'm glad to finally have one open. I did get the Celebration exclusive back in April. Um, it's been tantalizing me. I've been tempted to open it, but I know, no, this one's coming. I knew this one was coming, so I'm glad I waited. Um, only difference being is that the one from Celebration comes with an extra set of hands um, you can swap out and they didn't include them on this one which I find quite silly because this is the one that people are going to open more um, people are going to keep want to keep the Celebration one in the packaging um, never mind so we have a little bio on the back. Like all Jedi of his era, Obi-Wan Kenobi was raised in the Jedi Temple from a very young age. He first underwent training with Yoda before being assigned to Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn in his teens. So as I, as I mentioned, this is figure number 85. And uh, it's a pretty good looking figure. Um, it's, a, it's a really good looking figure. It's a, It's got the... Uh, They've sort of updated the Jedi of late, and uh, they look they look really good. Um, I've only just noticed this at the back. That's okay. Oh, it's not so bad. Anyway, we'll get a look at his face. So he's got the photo reel treatment, and uh, it looks pretty good. Looks, looks really good. Um, I remember raving about the Qui-Gon Jinn <laughs> um, when I reviewed that figure, uh, whenever that was that came out. It was might have been 12 months ago now, plus. Um, I absolutely raved about how good that figure looked, but he looks out of place now compared to um, the photo reel figures that are coming out, like this one. And I just uh, got the Archive Darth Maul from Wave 2 of the Archive series, so... Um, Qui-Gon's definitely due for an upgrade. I don't think we'll get one anytime soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, in terms of articulation, this one has greatly improved from some of the previous Jedi. Um, I'm thinking, like, of uh, the Episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi that came out years ago. Um, they've really they've really buckled down and nailed the articulation so he can really have this two-handed two lightsaber-holding ability and, and more with this particularly with the elbow joints. Um, it's where they really picked up the, picked up the, uh, yeah, <laughs> picked up the quality and, and, uh, articulation of this one. So you can really get those, really get a nice angle on those arms and move them really, really tightly into each other, which is good. So accessory wise, he simply comes with his lightsaber, which, uh, which is, is which is a nice nice one. Uh, this is always sketchy about pulling apart these lightsabers. I usually try and uh, hold it under some hot water first, um, just to loosen it up a little bit, because I'm afraid that this tiny little peg is going to snap off, and it's happened so many times in the past. But uh, it is does have a little peg on it. You can clip it there. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't come with his Jedi robe, which, again, that's that's really quite disappointing considering they went to the effort to give Mace Windu one. So, thought that might be a thing that's going to happen from now on, but clearly not. I hope they change their mind on that. Yeah, we'll see. But overall, this is a it's a good-looking figure. Um, I've made do with my figure arts one for quite a while now. And that's a good that's a good Obi Wan figure, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice to have it's nice to have the black series section sort of filled out. Now I'm not sure what's going on here. Whether there's been a little a little bit of an error in the mold, the way it's stuck down. Um, looks like a little bit of plastic sort of been chewed out the middle there, but that's okay. It's on his back, so doesn't matter so much. I might be able to glue that down a little bit. Never mind at all. But yeah, great looking Jedi figure. Really good episode, episode one, Obi-Wan. Articulation wise, he's got the ball jointed head. Uh, does he have the neck? I'm not sure that he has 
Got a little bit of movement in the neck. Boy, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Uh, that sort of torso joint there. Uh, ball hinge in the hips, swivel thighs, double jointed knees, and the ball hinge ankles as well. So he's got some good articulations. Hello there. But yeah, like I said, it's nice to have Obi Wan in from Episode One in the collection. Um, Hopefully they dive into the episode two stuff, uh, particularly now that we've got the Padme Amidala. It'd be great to get Anakin and Obi Wan from episode two as well. But yeah, more than happy to have have Obi Wan Kenobi in episode one. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, next up, we'll have number eighty six, Ezra Bridger from Star Wars Rebels. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Until my next video, may the force be with you.